Hi, this is Mrs. Cuneo, the director of the counseling office here at Chaminade, and it is time to request your courses for next year. We want to make it as easy as possible on you. So we're going to walk you through each step with this online tutorial. And remember, you can always email us or come see us with any questions. Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Johnson. I'm going to be walking you through the course request process. All right, the first place to start when choosing your classes is research. I can't stress how important research is because you cannot change your schedule in the fall. So when you request your courses, you have to be sure you're picking the right ones. Let me give you some tools to do the proper research. The first thing I want to show you starts off on the Chaminade website. Right here under Academics, you can see this tab called Our Curriculum. And we're in high school, so we're going to click on this that says Download the High School Course Description Guide. And then you'll get a PDF that describes every single class offered at Chaminade. And this will be all of the available classes that you have to choose from for next year. This guide is divided by department and has in it some really important resources. Each class is going to have a course description, which fills you in on the material covered within. It also has some important information about prerequisites. For example, ninth grade English has no prerequisites. But when you're applying for honors and AP classes, or maybe some more advanced art classes, there will be prerequisites, and you're going to need to pay attention to those to make sure that you can build an appropriate schedule. The course description guide and the prerequisites are designed to make sure that you're ready for the class you're getting into. And understanding how to read that guide and understanding prerequisites will give you a better understanding of what classes to choose. Let's take a look at the math department here to understand some prerequisites. If we look at getting into pre-calculus right here, then we can see that the prerequisite is a 72% in Algebra 2 or a 70% in Algebra 2 trig. Now, this just means that they're looking at the first semester grade, the one that you got just in January, in order to determine whether you belong in this class. Now, if you missed that prerequisite, don't worry, we will talk about how to fill out an appeals form later on in this video. Of course, this guide is not going to provide everything that you need to make your decisions. I really suggest that you gather information. Talk to teachers. Your current teacher can give you good advice about where to go next. The future teacher that teaches the classes you're interested in can give you some really strong advice about whether you're going to like that class, whether you're going to fit in academically. You can also talk to your parents about this. Your friends can be really good resources as well. And of course, the counseling office would love to talk to you about all of your courses and college planning when it comes to course selection. Now, when it comes to honors and AP classes, I want to make sure that you're prepared for the workload that comes with those advanced classes. Think about your schedule now and how much homework you do, and look at your future schedule, and find out whether you want more homework or less homework. AP classes regularly carry one to two hours of homework per class period, and that can be a big load on your schedule. So remember your other responsibilities and try to create some balance in your life. We always want you to push yourself academically and colleges do want to see you taking advanced classes, but not at the cost of your mental health, of your sleep, of your stress or anxiety. So really try to reach a balance. I want you to remember that advanced placement courses are a commitment. They're not something that you can easily just get out of, and we expect you to take the AP test at the end of the year. So remember, advanced placement classes are not a thing to jump into lightly. Do your research so that you know what you're getting into. We want you enrolled in classes where you're excited and challenged. The course request form can be a little bit tricky, so one tool that a lot of students have found really helpful is under the counseling section. We go to counseling, counseling resources, and then we're going to click on the four-year plan and it's going to open up a PDF that shows you all four years, all eight semesters you're at Chaminade. And this worksheet can help you visualize where your classes will go. And as you see coming up, the course request form isn't as visual, so this could be a good tool for you. 
Now that we've conducted our research, let's actually pick our schedule. On the Chaminade homepage, you can go up here to Family Portal. That is a link to many different resources, but where we're going is Net Classroom. After you've logged into Net Classroom, you can click on this registration button and enter requests, and that will bring you to the registration for 2020-2021 regular session. You can click on this button to start entering your requests. One thing you'll notice is that religion is already preloaded. This student already has 10 credits in their schedule with Religion 10A and Religion 10B. The one exception is that if you're a senior, you get to choose your first semester religion. So make sure you don't leave that out and you have the appropriate amount of religion classes in your schedule. All right, let's click on Edit Requests to see all of the requests we have available. The first thing we're gonna do is I would like you to read every line carefully and follow the instructions exactly before moving on to the next line. It is quite important that you follow all the directions because we wanna make sure you get all of your course requests. Let's fill out this form together so we can understand how to choose your classes. One thing you'll notice is that there's a lot of required classes, and if you are a younger student, you're going to have more required classes than an older student who has more flexibility in their schedule. Starting off, everyone needs English, and so you can see here that there are two options for a sophomore, American Literature and Composition, and Honors American Literature and Composition. If you are a junior or senior, you will get different options in this drop-down box because this is a smart form and it knows what grade you're in. If you read up here, English is required, select a course, do not select an alternate. Alternates will be very important, but for your English class, we're gonna make sure you're in an English class, so don't worry about choosing an alternate. Moving on, there's math. Pick the math that's most appropriate for you. Same thing with science and social studies. In fact, as a sophomore, social studies is one of your first choices for picking an advanced placement class. And so that's something you should definitely pay attention to. When you click on these boxes, you will see a huge list of electives. If you want an easier list, go ahead and check out the Counseling Blackboard page where we've loaded a list of all possible electives for your grade level. One thing you always wanna keep in the back of your mind when picking your classes is your fine arts credit if you didn't accomplish it in ninth grade and your PE requirement. You need to take two semesters of PE or participate in a sport that waives that PE requirement. If you are going to be a senior and you are missing the PE requirement, add it to your schedule. You have to, even if you plan to be in a sport. We want to make sure that you graduate and that graduation is in your schedule. I also want to urge you to pick alternates when you're choosing your elective classes. This is very important because we will not be doing schedule changes in the fall. And so if you don't pick alternates, then it's going to be problematic for you to get the classes that you want and you won't be able to change later. All of your alternates must be unique and can't appear other places in your course requests. For example, this little trick that doesn't work is choosing advanced robotics with sports writing as a backup, and for your second semester elective, choosing sports writing and an advanced robotics backup. That doesn't work. You're gonna wanna change these so that your alternates are actually alternates. So for example, in case of advanced robotics doesn't work out, maybe you could go into coding intro to Java, and if sports writing doesn't work, you could go into diving into mythology and folklore. Now, let me explain one complicated limitation of this form. If your first choice are two semester electives, and your second choice is a year-long elective, like say dance, then the form will not accept that. So what you need to do, is not pick an alternate for these semester courses, not pick a year-long elective. Instead, you need to email your counselor and say, my alternate for my semester electives of advanced robotics and sports writing is dance one. The same works in the other direction. If your first choice is a year-long elective like yearbook one, and your backup wants to be semester electives, you need to not choose an alternate, 
and email your counselor that your true alternates are two semester classes. Remember to press submit every time you change your course requests. This is not a final submission. These requests remain open and you can change them all the way up until the closing date. You can see all of your requests surrounded by orange down here at the bottom. They might jumble around a little bit, but as long as they're there, you know you're requesting the right classes. Now, sometimes you might pick a course you don't qualify for. I've selected String Orchestra 4, a very difficult class for a sophomore to qualify. When I press submit, the system is going to say that I have an exception, that I do not have the required prerequisite for String Orchestra 4. And that's true. Now, this doesn't mean that I can't get into String Orchestra 4 or AP US History or Honors Precalculus or whatever class that you don't meet the prerequisites for. What it does mean is that you need to fill out an appeals form and go through the appeals process. Courses where you don't meet the prerequisite cannot be on your course request form. The system won't let you. So even though you plan on appealing for that course, you'll need to sort of select an alternate by picking a course that you do qualify for. So if I really want String Orchestra 4, I should appeal for that class. But in the meantime, to complete my course requests, I'm going to want to pick a class that I do qualify for. Maybe a level one music class like Jazz Studies 1. You should still pay very close attention to the classes you choose here because in a sense if your appeal is denied then you could end up in the class that you've chosen. So think of these classes as alternates in case your appeal doesn't work. Now let's talk about the appeals process. The link to all the appeals form is right here. You can see all of the appeals form right here. The most common one that's used is the AP Honors Course Appeal Form. When filling out this form, it's very easy. Follow the directions and make sure that you're honest and that you're to the point. This is not a place to write an essay. Instead, you need to be clear about how you're going to be successful in that class. You will get an email confirming the submission of your appeal. So check your email to make sure that your form was submitted properly. We're going to hop back to the course request form for a minute, but I've logged into a senior's account. You can see that they only have one religion here because they'll need to pick their other religion. I'll again click on edit requests and it looks really similar, although it's much longer as a senior student. There's 16, 17 items down here instead of just seven. And the reason why is that seniors have more flexibility in their schedule. Notice right here, we're starting off with religion where you need to choose your re required religion class for the fall. So church 2K, sacred scriptures, world religions, or faith, science, and reason. Remember, this is the kind of class that you will need an alternate for. Rising seniors, your form is a little bit more complicated than in years past, but again, move through methodically and step by step, you'll be able to fill out your schedule. For example, Fall English, do not select an alternate. Spring English, please select an alternate. I'll select Shakespeare and Short Fiction. Remember everyone to move methodically through these options, and as you submit, you'll be able to see them at the bottom and see your credits adding up. One thing to note is that some of the advice here is for graduation requirements, not necessarily for college requirements. So for example, right here on the senior form, it says math not required. That's true for many of you. You've fulfilled your math requirement, congratulations. But also the majority of you will want to take a math your senior year because that's something colleges want to see. So remember to take advice from lots of different sources when choosing your classes. Remember that you can edit your requests all the way up until the deadline. And whenever you submit your requests, they will end up being jumbled around. But that's okay. When you press submit, you will see your submissions under here in orange. You'll see your main requests and your alternate requests, and you'll be able to count up your credits to make sure that you have seven classes, or in many cases, 70 credits. See that as I filled this out, none of the alternate requests are duplicated. I made sure that I had a PE during my senior year because maybe I needed that requirement. Some of the classes will have alternates and others will not, and that's because I followed the instructions on the edit requests. And of course, I can go back in and edit these requests again and submit again and change all of my my choices. 
Before final exams, you're going to receive a confirmation of all of your course requests in the mail. In that confirmation, you'll have all the classes that you chose and also the answer to your appeals. It's really important that you look at that document closely. And if there are any issues, make sure you reach out to your counselor so we can fix any problems because that is the last time to change your schedule before the fall. I again, we want to reiterate that there will not be course changes in the fall. Some important updated information. The course registration process will now open March 23rd and close April 10th. We know that there might be a chance that you won't be able to come into the counseling office to talk to us about your schedule, but please, please reach out if you have any questions or concerns. There are some corner case scenarios where you might need a counselor's help to complete your registration. We're also really looking forward to talking with you, so stay tuned to the Counseling Blackboard page where we're going to be rolling out ways for us to meet through the internet. Thank you very much.